Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I, I hate when you do that. Because it was late to the barn today, you guys. Those are mine. I know. I was in a hurry. I also had to grab your horse. You can't wear those. You down can't wear those. It's winter. I know. You can't wear those down the barn. I know. If I can't, you can't. I know. I'm always complaining. Oh, there goes your horse. Just leave her. Anyways, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Sophie's still half in her pajamas. Gubby's dressed, I see. You let my horse out. Gab I'm not complaining, just like I don't complain when Sam comes down. Help is help, you guys. She got here before me, she's doing all the you work. You know what Gabby's trying to get me to do? What is Gabby trying to get Pick you to do? Pick up the wheelbarrow, but it's her turn. Yeah, because I didn't think you were coming down, so I was like, muck out her stall, or you grand dump the wheelbarrow. You didn't think I was coming to help, so you're bossing your sister around? Yeah. <laughs> Spoken like a true teenager. Sophie, did she boss you around? Yeah. What do you have in your pocket there? Elastics. Why do you have so many elastics? Show them. Because... You have to put them all back. You're going to lose them all. Because... And she's going to leave gonna them in there while it goes in the washer and dryer. I'm so going to bring them to the, the other barn. I have a, some in my purse. I'm going to put in our buckets in the barn. So, no, put those ones back. I just bought 20 new elastics yesterday and I have to wear half of them are in your pocket. So, Sylvia... So I only have nine. Nine. Give me those elastics. What the heck? You see a whole, this is Sophie since she was a little girl. She always steals all the fun stuff. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys to do the chores. Wait, today. you can't leave me alone. We have to run to the crap. store. We have to run to the store. I'll go to the store. No, I have to go get shavings. I keep forgetting. Don't I'll let me to forget to get shavings. I'll go to the store. Maybe we'll go to the tax store. It's super fun there. Can I go? Yes, after chores. I'm going to leave you guys down here and do chores and I'm going to go clean the house. So by the time you guys get up there, we're able to start school. So I decided I'm going to go up to the house and do chores. I mean, do chores. I'm going to go up to the house and get the house stuff done. Do you guys have the same problem that I have? You clean up all day. You clean up your house during the day and it's not too bad. And then your husband comes home and then you like do your work, like edit, like I edit and stuff at night. But then when I wake up in the morning, my house is a disaster zone. Like, the worst is that, like, I wouldn't even show you. That's how bad it is. Most of it is from the dogs playing and dragging stuff all over the place. And Sophia. Sophia still likes to play with stuff, mess with stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And we'll see you back. And we'll see you back here in a few minutes. So now that Remembrance Day is over and Thanksgiving Day is over in Canada, it's time to get our Christmas on. But before we can do that, we need to clean the house. Right, Sophie? Clean the house. A rearrange everything for our Christmas tree and do the laundry. I have to get the laundry done. I just want to show you guys what happens on laundry day. I know I've showed you guys before, but there's a new addition to the laundry pile. You guys know that Toby's always hanging around the laundry pile when it's warm. He's always underneath there. We always have Macy who comes and climbs when I dump the laundry to fold it. She's always here. <laughs> and then now we have the addition of this dog. Whoa! She comes and climbs up every time I get the hot. Every time I get the the laundry ready she climbs and cuddles into it because she loves the heat and gabby's jealous <laughs> all right it is past lunchtime now it's like 12 30 12 30 and we're getting ready to go down i'm gonna ride my girl i'm excited i'm excited to like even just hanging out with her it's fun for me i noticed yesterday that she was fighting gracie she actually was mean to gracie all right so um we've been busy this morning all we did this morning was get christmas stuff out and started we haven't finished I'm going to show you guys the pillows that the girls made so these are the pillows that the girls made yesterday remember I told you that Gabby wanted to get towels and make them into pillows and so she did she did her Santa Claus ones and then this is Sophie's and when I'm still in the middle of making mine mine's like this one uh, Gabby put the Christmas tree up today and I'm going to show you how we decided if you guys it's still bent. yeah it's still bent I don't know why it's bent um last year we stuck it in that corner and it, there was no room to put presents and there's really not any room to put presents here either but oh well what are you gonna do I took out our carpets earlier this year in the summer thank god I did because we have two puppies now one of which is completely potty trained and the other one not so much yet so I'm glad I took out the carpets, but at Christmas time I really want to have a carpet. Like, I love sitting on the carpet and opening presents. Wait, I love the kids sitting on the carpet and opening presents. So I might go and get a carpet and put in here for, nice for the season. Imagine you, like, changed your carpet up and put Christmas carpet every season. That would be so fun. It'd have to be small. But anyway, 
So this is all we have done I so like far. Yeah, I know. I think I like them. They're like a, a off white, a yellow white. We got the so puppies like over here. Yellow. So we just all we did was we take we took the middle seat out and I put the dog bed down there. Clo whoops, sorry. Closed that thing off, the door off. I'm happy with it. I'm going to show you guys what I did with the cushion upstairs. These dogs are waiting to go out. But also, we found half of our toys underneath the couches when I was cleaning them. They always get stuck underneath there because of the dogs. This is how many dog toys we have. They're all disgusting, all gross, and they play with them like crazy. We have many more Christmas decorations to put up. We're not done. We just got the tree up. It's not decorated or anything. It takes a long time to do that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what we did with the other big cushion. You're supposed to open the door for me. Come in. Dun, dun, da, da. Sophie, you were supposed to close your bottom drawer. And your window. And your window. I opened this window because, oh, <laughs> Holly. Mommy, you know what I do with Daisy? Well, that's why it's so cold in here. I, I run to the other thing and call her and she normally chases after me. All right, let's see. Just just like, all right, let's see it happen. Show us, Sophie. Daisy, come on! Come on! Come on, Daisy! Come here! Look at that! Look at that! Go get it! <laughs> Can't jump up. How can you... Anyway, so uh, we put it in Sophie's room. It fits in here. Should we changed her bed around a little. Uh, at, Ruby sleeps in here every single night. Kathy and Sophie both asked Santa for a TV for their bedroom for this year. Yeah. So even if I left that up here, and um, I don't know if that will happen, but anyway, the idea is she could put the TV on her little shike, on her little shlike stand. Sophie, show them your shlike. Sophie asked for so much shlike, only almost only just for shlike for Christmas. And a couple bars. Yeah, and I don't think I don't want to buy them for her because look at this. This is all horses. It's this big. It's like, it's huge. And it's all horses. Well, there's a baby panda in here. There's probably a few other little animals in here. And a moose. But all horses. Oh, yeah, there's a moose. I love a schlike moose. And so, you might think that that's a lot of schlike, but who cares, Laura? Buy her some more. Oh, that one's so cute. Like, I wish I had my own collection of schlike. Chino, is that you? Chino. Chino the moose. Um, so you may think that's a lot. Buy her some more. But then she has this bucket completely filled with horses. This one's my favorite. I like this one. This oh, one's my love favorite. Love me a unicorn. Yeah, is that a new one? No. All right, so that bucket is only half this size. So you might be thinking, like, that's enough schleich, Laura. But then she also has all the little tiny pieces of schleich, all the Hello. riders, all the cats. My new cat. You know what I love that's in here? I love this. It actually comes with all the hardware to make this into a cart for people like to pull their for their horse to pull the cart. The How my closet thing you attach. Yeah, I I love it. And then she's got all of her fencing and stuff over there. And puppies. Yeah, and more stuff. Let's see what's on the bottom. Uh, on the bottom more is more fencing and all more sets and then she's got some sets in the trailer over there she's got a barn over here oh <gasps> you are a genius tell them a small thin stand at the end of the bed i don't put the tv there that's, what I that's you were doing. such a good idea gabby's like get a really thin stand sam could make something and put the tv here this is where she really wants it but she also wants a 50 inch tv and i don't know that would like make you blind laying in bed and watching that um, it actually does it? I want a uh, 3D how TV. how close you get to electronics, it does not make you I want glasses. 3D TV now. 3D. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. All right, it's riding time. Going to get my princess. Oh, are you my princess? <laughs> Gabby's my warrior. You might not know that, but she is. She's a warrior kind of girl. Hi, these two are turning into friends. There have been a lot of changes, a lot of new developments in the pasture that you guys haven't been able to see. Just things I've been noticing from afar. She doesn't want to work today. You see, can you tell? How can you tell? Is it the poop she's putting she in my face? Chrissy didn't want to work, but she didn't run away from me. Yeah. She just walked. Penny! And then when I ran, she walked. Come on! 
See? See what's happening here? She has to work with Willow with the line driving. Yeah, all right, we'll all work on our ponies today. The thing about Willow is that she's like the mean girl's best friend. I think I've said that before, but she always sucks up to the biggest horse. Well, yeah. Gracie sucks up to everybody. Gracie sucks up to nobody, which is why she has no friends. No, Gracie sucks up to everybody. She's a big chicken, just not on the other side of the fence. Because there's a fence. I've just gotten used to this. Cause love from my list of to-dos. I didn't ask to be turned around upside down, but here we are, and it's a good thing. You She just stands there when she tells us off. And that's like her whole personality. Like her whole entire personality is like that. Like she gets mad. She's like an old lady, like a grouchy old lady. I'm sorry. You're soon. I'll make, Sophie will come and get you in a few minutes, okay? And we'll get you all brushed up. Look at, she looks good though. I mean, she looks, she looks fluffy and soft. We'll be back. You giving her a big kiss? I like to close the door. Oh my goodness. What have you been doing? Did Gabby, did you brush her before you let her out this morning? No. I always brush her because she always be looking like this. That's why she's grouchy. Mom, this is how you close the door while you have a horse in your hand, okay? Okay. You take them in. If they have a bridle on, put their halter on, cross tie them, and then you I want the I want to close the door before I take her halter off. What if I take her halter off and she makes a run for it? Then she'd have to turn all the way around first, and you would have, and then you would be able to catch her before you do that. Well, anyways, I do have trouble with that. I always bring her in, and then I can't figure out how to close the door. And you put the reins over her head so that you, when you hold the bridle, I'm just gonna show you. Getting a lesson from my children today. She has stains. I feel bad making her make so many turns. Tell it's like, stop and it's like 17 languages of the horse world. Like, oh, don't turn her in such tight circles. But then when you have to come in the door, you're you are perfectly fine turning that tight of circles. She is not being forced to actually be lunged or go multiple like 15 times. They're like, now. don't pull back. And then when you fall off, they're like, why didn't you pull back? Whoa. They're like, there's just so much confusion and discrepancy in the whole horse world. It's just crazy to me. So I, it's hard for me to ever know if I'm doing the right thing. But today, we are going to just go for a nice slow ride and we're going to do something fun and something special for you. I want to be, it just feels right around to all Also show you guys how good she is with her feet. So I was just about to call her Stella. Oh my goodness. Penny lifts up her feet. She's so perfect. But she's like on the ground. She's such a good horse. I hope she's good for the farrier. They said she was. So she puts her foot up. You do that one. She's better with her back feet because you don't even have to hold them. No, you don't even have to do anything. You just walk toward her back feet and she's like, here you go. Sophie's new. Sophie's new to picking my horse's feet. She's not used to them yet. It's my second time. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I know, but I've done I it. I think fit. I know. Keep going. He's trying to kick you with his front feet. Okay, go. Do the next one. See? I should move those things. Oh, she's such a good girl. So that's how she's like always with her feet. That's a good girl. Yes, you are. Such a good girl. She loves her hair brushed. That's her favorite thing. Grace's favorite thing is 
Her Gracie's favorite thing is hoof oil. You want some hoof Hello, oil, Gracie? Pretty. Hurry up and grab it. She lifts it up for you to grab. I want her. I want teacher to pick her foot up and hold it there. I think she's good. I think she's good the but way she is. So I don't have, have to hold it. One minute, he'll put it down. Yeah, well that's what she was doing. She was lifting it up for her, and Gabby said he wanted her to lift it higher, so she wasn't even grabbing it. I really want to figure out how high she is. Her old owner oh, said she was 14.2. 15. Her old owner said she was 15.2, but I don't believe she's taller. Like, I think she's 15.3. Not that she it... is 15.3. That's what you told us. The owner said no. She I was. looked back and it's she's 15.2. All right, let's get out there and walk her around. Walk my girl around. So, so what's the purpose of lunging a horse with the little mini saddle on? To get her used to lunging and moving with the saddle on, and it's cute. <laughs> yeah. So the actual purpose of Gabby lunging her is to, whoa, why is she going so fast? She's catering. But why? She I just, no, yeah, she just, she's sassy today. Some people were concerned that she's never been uh, taught to canter. It's a skill that gated horses have to learn. She has actually been professionally taught to canter. She has a really nice, beautiful canter. But we might have a good thing. You bring out the best in me. I don't know why or how. With you. Sometimes hard to remember like the things you've already overcome like I've already got her to do so much of what I want like the fact that she just walks around the ring with me is amazing but now she's like hey I don't really want to do this and so she pulls off the rail so now I have a whole new thing that I have to keep to work on is keeping her on the rail so Gabby actually did get on her and was able to like get her staying on the rail a little better and now I'm just, we're just gonna take her for a ride on the road. I was gonna walk her, but Gabby's actually riding her. And I'd like Gabby to teach her to walk on the road well. 
And I know people are saying, if you want her to do it, you have to do it, but I'm not as experienced. And I'm not gonna be able to teach her Molly as well as Gabby can. So in every riding career, you need help. And that's what this is. Molly, so we just hardly did anything and she's soaked. That's how out of shape she is. Cause it's, it's a bit cooler today. So the goal is walk, stop, walk, stop. We want her to walk when she's excited. Walk and stop. Oh, she's doing so good. I hate the rocks. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. You just got mad. Slow down. You can walk beside her. She's a pretty slow walker, so you're going to have to walk slow. Oh, I love walking down the road with her. Our goal is supposed to be. Okay, can you stop her? Can On the way back, we got to do walk, stop, stop. Go in front of us because she gets really mad when Grace. She gets mad, Gabby says, when Gracie goes in front of her. She wants to race cars too. She wants to race cars too. Hmm. That's fabulous. <laughs> oh, she makes me happy though. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city's screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear, they will let you down so we better stick together, let's come whatever when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. I love that. See that pucka 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 is a perfect gate. She doesn't she doesn't see home yet. Wait till yeah, wait till you get going. Alright, well we should be together. It's heavy weather. We're heading for tonight. You better take what you can because the time is right now. Walking home, walking calm, quiet, relaxed, walking home with another pony beside her. Like maybe what's happening with her is my inexperience. I'm gonna go try again though. I'm gonna get on her and gate down the road a little and try and gate her back. Like when I share all the things about her that are hard for me that I'm trying to like work through, I'm not trying to say that she's not an amazing horse because she is an amazing horse her owner told me that like she's one in a million and i recognize that and understand it like she's just walking slow as anything
and we are gonna struggle and we're gonna have problems and we're gonna get through them just like Finn and Sophie, just like Gabby and Storm, just like Gabby and Chino, just like all of you, it's gonna happen. But the thing is, is that riding her is really fun for me, a totally different experience and it makes me motivated and excited to get through all the bad stuff. with you. Do not let Pony Oni leave your side. You're going too fast. Still too fast. You're leaving Pony Oni behind. You had to drop the lead rope. Pony Oni starts running away. She gets hit by a car and dies. Uh, I think they're turning right. Their right, our left. I see a blinker. Hold back. Maybe her whole issue on the last trail was the fact that we stuffed her in a trailer and took her someplace new with new horses. No, I could ride her and she'd be fine. Okay, do not let Pony Oni leave your side. That's how slow you want to go. Oh, you're leaving her. I will make you pony her to learn that. Happy camper. Well, she went really fast. So we all laughed. My dog. We all laughed and Willow got upset. I can see a little sweat on her. Feel her chest. Look at this girl. Like she is not in shape. Willow does not need a workout anymore. That was amazing. I told Gabby, Gabby, I will pay you to train me and train my horse. And she said, just pay me by buying me things. That way, if what I want costs more than what you would pay me, I win. <laughs> I technically get more money. Yeah, technically. But anyway, that was amazing. Thank you for helping me. Like, Gabby, I don't know if it's brand new, I could tell. Having, having a coach with you seriously gives you so much confidence. And Gabby has, you guys, I know some of you guys are gonna disagree, but having Gabby here, she gives people confidence. Like she gives me confidence, she gives Sophie grief. Okay, so Sam and I just went to the post office and mailed out most of the giveaway stuff, which means that I'm getting closer to sending more stuff. This is what I'm worried about. Sometimes like we'll get a package from someplace and we have to pay duty on it and i am worried like when i ship stuff that you guys are gonna have to pay money on something that i ship i don't know how to i don't know how to fix that like what how does that why does that happen sam government wants their money i know but how do i prevent that gift. oh you put it as a gift Whoa. that's what i have to do anyway everything i sent out today said gift on it <laughs> 
um, which they are all gifts. Also, I have a couple more that I have to mail out. The problem is, is that people were messaging me all over the place and all my social medias to give me their address and I have like maybe three of them that I don't know where they are and I'm looking for them. So I have another, I bought some boxes and I have a couple more things just to mail. Hopefully I'll get that done this week so that I can get it done and I can finish the giveaways. Never again will I ever do 10 giveaways or a bunch of give. Never again will I ever do a bunch of giveaways all at the same time. Like it's hard. And then the last ones I'm gonna ship from the company so that they can deal with all the all the shipping issues. Even though all I did today was set up the Christmas stuff, I have like this really big, amazing feeling in my heart because I rode Penny on the road fabulously. Like, I wanna go fast. Like, she wants to go fast as we're going away from home and tomorrow Gabby and I are gonna try it again. But getting to do all that stuff with her today and having her just go slow was really fun. But I, I have a need for speed in me like Gabby. Like, I can't wait till the time that we can go for a trail and we can just go. But right now, I'm just making sure that we're on the same page. So I have to go slow. But man, I like had the best day just because of that. Don't you know that you're beautiful?